to that is the, uh, the kind of Ugandans that come to Britain. Uh, for a long time, mostly it was the middle classes, and perhaps most of the people, the Africans who were first immigrants in this room, tend have come from middle class. You get African. So the, those Africans, their immigration experience is very different from the working class, um, you know, Africans. The, you know, a working class don't come with any ideas. Middle classes, if you're a doctor, if you're a nurse, or if you're a teacher, you come here and you say, okay, where's the hospital? I'm a doctor. <laughs> and then you're told, no, you can't clean first. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and so, the, the, the way the middle classes um, react to that is different, but the working class people will also relate differently because they've been oppressed back in again anyway, so if they're given a room, as long as they're paid, they say, this is fine, I'm going to be paid. But at the same time, men, African men and African women immigrate differently. So African men, as I speak about Ugandan men, Ugandan men are Men. <laughs> you know, they're just men. And women are women. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. When you come from a culture like that, and you are that kind of man, when you come here in Britain and there's someone on top of you treating you like you're less than, it's very hard. And you find often men, you are even in men, struggle much more than their wives. But you see, women, we, we, we used to being oppressed. We used to someone being a part on top of us. So you know what? We have acquired some skills which allow us to maneuver around this oppression. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when we come here, the women are so quick, where's that, where's that? And yes, I'll do the grooming, I'll do this. Men are like, I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they insist and you said to him you know what maybe start with sweeping and cleaning the hospitals or cleaning the tools and he would come home and say to you clean that in the doctor's he didn't know what to do. They would, and I wanted to help them, but he's holding a broom in my That's the kind of thing. So actually, you're told that when you go to mental hospitals, you find that there are more black men there in, in terms of racial than any other people. That's because it, when they are emasculated by whiteness here, they really fall apart. Women are like, okay, where's the world? you know, I have to me. So uh, that comes through in the book. Mm. And so Puna, she was not just a woman, she was working class. So she came not expecting anything. And she, um, what, she felt that she was treated well because, you know, she did the NVQ and suddenly she was uh, elevated to that point and to that point. And, before long, she was doing a university degree, which she would have not done in Uganda. And that kind of person, you can't turn around and say to him, Britain is wrong, Britain is bad. You say, just go back home if Britain is bad. You know, they sent me a letter the other day saying, can you come for cervical cancer screening? How can you call that bad? That's a working class African woman. So I thought that I needed to tell that story as well. 